yeah, guys, you you hear a, a lull, a, a quiet, and it's just you hear the of the 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 wind blowing from from outside. Uh, that's a lie. You don't hear that. Uh, you feel the wind through the broken glass because sound doesn't carry super well in a low atmosphere, you guys. Fun fact. Um, <laughs> you feel it against your your, your, uh, your space helmets. Space helmets? Helmets. Sure. Um, <laughs> we feel the space wind against our space helmets. <laughs> There's a quiet lull. We space feel it. Blows. <laughs> Blowing through my space hair. When I, when I need to make up something, I just put the word space in front of it. <laughs> That's what I go with. We support you. We space, space support dungeon you. master. Um, <laughs> guys, you know what I forgot, though, at the start of this session? I, it was a whole bit I was going to do once we started recording. I'm wearing my barbecue condiment shirt. Because my intention was to roast you motherfuckers with that battle. <laughs> oh, you know, it's good you didn't say that. <laughs> Hello, Isaac. Because <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Isaac is Winters a, in the flesh. Right. Hindsight is 100%, you guys. Um, amazing. It's 2020 of the shots you don't take. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a, a, a kind of a lull, and this ooze seems to be kind of pouring around. Kanan and Kieran, uh, Kieran, you're with Liv currently, and Liv uh, kind of like, he'll, he'll run it, why not? Uh, Liv kind of like looks at you. Uh, he's going to make a repair check. Liv actually does have a rep repair skill. Um, he, it's not great, but he has it. N nope. He like... You're right. He just holds it. <laughs> he makes it worse. <laughs> Hello, by the way. I am Perun. <laughs> can can Gears not be in the washroom anymore? Yeah, Gears, where do you want to be? Gears. <laughs> with with the people. Okay. Gears is in with the Oh, I should do this. See what's going on? I'll do this on my DM screen because I can actually move you through walls that way. There we go. Thanks. Okay, let's say you all, uh, I'll move, Kieran, I'll move you and Liv as well. Uh, I'll move both of you guys, because, again, through walls. Uh, boop, bitter do bam. Why are you wearing a shirt, robot man? Space clothes is silly. <laughs> Space clothes is silly. However, not all humans like androids. Perun, you have a flashback to a different time in space where you had a fear of androids. Almost like a campaign that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Old grandfather clock repairman who's terrified of the fucking robot apocalypse. And people are silly. They need to get over this shit. <laughs> While he's saying this, he's just stepping on the heads of the researchers because he saw the android guy get up earlier. So he's just not, he's not trusting that they're going to get back up again. Isaac finally, fi I've been rolling this whole time, finally recovers from being shaken. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this? <laughs> and who is, who is this sad man? Right, I'm, uh... Sorry, I um, I thought I could do a cool jump and then shoot. It'd be really heroic, but it wasn't. I tried um, to grab your foot and throw you to the ground, but I missed. Right. I, uh, sorry, my name's Isaac Winters. Uh, listen, you look like a, a big, tough fella. Uh, you, you have a very large gun, and it apparently killed most things that in this room right now. Uh, I don't know. Yes. What, wait, are you with... You're not hired by the 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 GAC, are you? The G A C. Yes. You're employed. You're an employee of the GAC. No. Oh. Oh. Well. Perfect. They say we have job. We give you money. I say yes. Right. You sound. They like... say come protect these people. I say okay. Give me money, and they do. And Perun show up. 
and then Perun go into the bathroom to take shit and they shut the doors and turn on the lights like a real <laughs> joke. <laughs> Perun ate all of his poop snacks. <laughs> I love, I love that you have poop snacks. <laughs> <laughs> when you prepare for a five hour shit that turns into a five day shit <laughs> Perun is all about efficiency you should poop every 24 hours after every meal but Perun makes sure he poop once every 24 days for one hour so yes I get hungry <laughs> Right, I'm. I'm sure I'm happy that the toilets here are having. Oh shit! I suction. forgot you were there. <laughs> I'm happy that the toilets here have incredible suction because I'm sure it wouldn't have survived otherwise, if it had to rely they on don't. some kind of water-based system. Uh, I poop in a porcelain toilet once, and it did crack. So I'm, these steel ones are fantastic. You know, porcelain's rare. I, <laughs> that sounds like a throne, proper, proper throne. They talked it up. I didn't buy it. Oh, right. Well, listen, friend, you uh, don't, yes. you're not an actual employee of the, the GAC, which is brilliant, because we would have had to kill you otherwise. I am con... <laughs> you silly man, you jump into Brew and <laughs> fall asleep, you can't kill everyone. <laughs> right, if you weren't, oh, you're if you weren't taking up the whole doorway, that would have been a perfect shot. Perfect. Kanan actually right? laughs a lot at that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a poke at this computer over here. Uh, everyone else, fuck off. If you have money, Perun will help. <laughs> oh, listen, friend, we're on... Oh, maybe I should tell you. Uh, right. You, what the fuck were you doing down here? You're you're in... Uh, God damn it. Cheating. In, uh, I know what you were doing. I mean, the royal you. What were you doing down here with interstellar territory on a mining planet not owned by the fucking galaxy uh, cunts Nothing. All right. I don't know. <laughs> the man who signs his checks told him to show up here. That I've sounds... already been paid, and the people I was supposed to protect, uh, we just killed. So, um, <laughs> right. I'm open for contracts. <laughs> well, listen. If you want to lend, <laughs> lend that big fuck off laser on your back, uh, we're more. This is guilty. We're more or less going to uh, find out what the fuck was going on here. Any insight into that would be great, but we're going to have a poke around some of this information, see what we can get off the drives, and then, uh, you know, fuck off out of here and uh, sell it for, uh, you know, the highest bidder, more or less. Ah, uh, you're yeah. mercenaries. More or less, right? Yes. We kind of just came together. You know that Isaac. trope? It's like found family. That's what I feel like we are. I feel like we're a found family. We came Isaac. together. Yeah. Isaac, shut right. the fuck up and go over to the computer. I'm already here. I'm he sitting sounds like the mother who tries to bring everyone together <laughs> over no common interests. <laughs> Isaac's like... Our common interest is not liking Isaac. You, sorry, he doesn't. He doesn't type. Actually, he takes a uh, a little thing off of. Uh, you see this? He kind of brushes back. He, he's got like a kind of a, a longer swoop, and he brushes it back and takes a little device and pl plants it on the the uh, where you know the the drives would be. And then you see uh, one of his eyes starts like processing information, uh, like he's reading through what's happening here. Isaac is going to Gross. make. Uh, an electric. You have cybernetic parts. <laughs> Isaac's gonna make. <laughs> a, uh, he's gonna make a hacking check. Uh, let's see. Here we go on the screen. Oh, nice, amazing. He's got a raise. Uh, sorry, he's got. Yeah, he's got one raise. He doesn't have two. Uh, that's great. He's looking through the the logs. He's like, right, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to be processing this information for a couple of minutes. I'll, I'll catch you up to speed. Uh, uh, how about you all uh, uh, take a look around see, I don't know, if you can find something else. This is fucked, everyone. This is absolutely fucked. Uh, and he, I'll do it, but because I want to. He, uh, Isaac sounded kind of serious, you know, like, not like, hey, I'm a fuck off, but like, shit, something, something is, 
something's real. Um, but yeah, what do you guys do? You're in this one room, uh, kind of the main research room. Uh, again, there's a separate building. Uh, there's a road that winds through both buildings. The road continues on further. Karun, you know the road that goes further leads to the dig site where there's two other smaller research buildings, but the main dig site is uh, uh, past these kind of pop-up centers. Uh, before we go anywhere... We need to go uh, this way to get to the big site. Uh, Gears would be sneaking up behind Kanan, trying to finish repairing the suit. Kanan's going to walk out to the uh, to the other room where the whatever's left of the body of that android or whatever it is, and I guess while Gears is fixing his suit, he's just going to hold his chainsword on over the body, just fucking totally destroying it, liquefying um, it as best he can. Yeah, uh, I like it. Um, how about I want... I'm going to do it for Liv, but I want Gears... Uh, actually, everyone ex- mm, No, everyone. Everyone give me a smarts check. Uh, I'll do it for Liv. With our wild thing? Yeah, always Yeah, always with the wild. Got a four. Four, four is a success. Seven is a success. Perun roll seven. Uh, three is a fail. Kieran? Five is a success. So, most of you realize... When Liv hit the generators is kind of when things started going bad. And the lights are still on currently. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. All right. <laughs> we could hey, you, guys, the lights. you guys succeeded on that check. Let me just put that out there. <laughs> should I, should I, am I, do I have to make a roll for the repair for Kanan? Yes, suit, or? you do. Okay. Um, Liv is going to do one for Kieran. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's uh, accept Kanan. I guess Gears and uh, Kieran. Uh, I'll do Liv in a minute. Uh, if you guys want to describe what you look like for for Perun, I guess. Oh sure. Um, I'll go first. Yeah, sure. Okay, Gears. Uh, Gears is a a robot with a ratty looking sort of like hood over and sort of semi ratty looking, just like plain drifter clothing but he's hit, he's holding in one hand a like really fucking nice looking plasma pistol and the parts of the metal that you can see is like this wasn't some off the shelf robot gears looks like he's expensive as shit um but just like wildly out of place in his hobo clothing. Picture like gears a wearing fund like baby who is uh, you know into doing street art. <laughs> I picture gears wearing like an old rundown <laughs> so fucking grease covered pair of champion like hoodie and sweater. <laughs> <laughs> or hoodie and sweatpants and are just space really champion. <laughs> yeah space champions <laughs> spacer's choice for anyone who's played outer worlds nobody okay great and who are you scaly man did I hear them call you limped out right I'm li- <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> it's not like Robbie oh, doesn't do a voice you look at Liv and it looks like from, uh, he fully is from, you know, is uh, much like his little icon there. Uh, his face is uh, deep reddish uh, scales with like gold implants where like, you know, some exterior bone would be. He's got mostly cybernetic chest and arm. And then again, he's wearing like pants and he's got like a little back. Oh, well, sorry. He's in a full spacesuit. Uh, but you can tell he's got cybernetics kind of where the where you can see down through his uh, spacesuit. He's uh, about three feet tall. He's not a tall little creature. Um, <laughs> he's a tiny gecko. But he seems like he's half uh, half cybernetic for the most part. And he kind of looks, okay. he, he shakes your hand and he's like, nice to meet you. Hello, little Gears will pipe up at this point and be like, the lizard is much more fun than the humans. 
<laughs> Isaac calls the lizard a cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he is a cat. Uh, uh, climbs everywhere. It's quite annoying. Uh, can you all do me a favor and uh, take a look around? I need to find out... Uh, Jesus Christ, sorry, we've got a whole situation going on here. I need to just... Ah, fuck, I don't even know. I don't even quite understand fully what's going on, but we've... Can Gears just, at this point, like, bypass Isaac and plug in okay. to the same computer network to see what the fuck's going on? Uh, you don't have to bypass it. Uh, the computer he's sitting at is, like, kind of like a, a semi-circle uh, semi-circle of computers so there's uh, there's mo uh, more than enough room if you want to also kind of jack in and uh, okay. data jack or whatever it's what is it yeah it is there's a few <laughs> free <laughs> USB <that>. ports <laughs> using my robot mod data jack can I right. hack into the system <laughs> you can please? slice slice that system yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping not to get sliced alright uh, hacking. Music. I'll oh, tell you. Uh, yeah. Let me. Let me. Let me raise the stakes here. If you get, if you get more than one raise, you're gonna glean the cube a little bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. You will become okay, number sure. two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not a Peru number two. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, I dropped one. One moment. Yep. Uh, I got three on both. <laughs> Plus your kitten lizard. You get a bonus, right? Oh yeah, Space I do. Bonus. Plus four. I got seven, seven. on both. Seven is seven is a uh, uh, success uh, using your data jack feature. Um, Sick. What you you kind of Act. yeah <laughs> you <laughs> you go up with Isaac. And you can see, uh, again, his eye is, one of his eyes is just kind of surfing through information, just kind of, it's nonstop. And you kind of do the same, and uh, now it's like a CP, like you're, uh, feel free to correct me on this or, or reflavor, but I feel like your internal CPU is like, you have a view of like the Windows blue screen, you know, and like, or like a, a, a MS DOS, you know, type scenario where you can see the code in front of you and you kind of go through the code. And that's kind of what you're seeing here. And the research, uh, specifically the research in this room that they've been conducting is, <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was too quick. That was too quick. <laughs> the background on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. The research you come across here is the is mostly about the substance that they unearth. Uh, uh, the giant chamber in the side was to to house it to kind of keep it isolated, and obviously that failed. Uh, one of the later findings points out that it seems to adapt to any power source uh, it comes in contact with. It it can transduce one power source into another power source, given its needs. At the atomic level, it is not atoms. It is nano machines, uh, nano, um, like, a uh, 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 it's nanobots. like, uh, atomites, um, is what they, uh, are they fucking with my nanites. They call, uh, they refer to them as atomites, uh, in the, in the text. This is strictly unheard of. It's outlandish that something could be so minuscule and be able to be programmed, basically. Okay, can I, like, with the information that I got from my sensor scan earlier, everything, like, melds? Like, this is the same shit that I sensed earlier? Yeah, you got a heavy okay. sense from, from your atmospheric sensor sweep. Um, that there is, uh, especially in this area, a, a dense amount of this substance, uh, not yeah, at surface weird. level, but but quite a bit of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn around then, and just like completely ignoring Isaac, relate all this information to everyone, and then turn to. 
Perrin and Kanan because I told I told Kieran and Liv about the strange substance that I sensed, but I didn't tell Kanan. Right. And I obviously didn't tell Perrin. So I'm gonna say <laughs> uh, Perrin, since you're new here, you've not heard about and I'll explain about the substance and then I'll turn to Kanan and be like, I didn't tell you because you're a fucking cop, but you seem better now. <laughs> uh, just as you start talking to Perun, Kanan walks back into the room and time for you to turn to him and say that he's literally <laughs> fucking covered in the shit. It's dripping <laughs> off of his chainsword. He is just fucking covered in it. Licking his chainsword. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <just> space suit <laughs> open. <laughs> All right, yeah. So I'm not hiding anything anymore, I guess is what I'm saying. I've shared all that information. Yeah, so you guys... Uh, we, could leave, uh, we could leave Isaac here and uh, go to uh, the big mine and do more uh, looking around if you want. Right, I can, I'm on comms. I can hear this conversation happening. Are we right beside it? Yes. Yes, yes but... I didn't <laughs> leave you. Why are you still using communication devices? You're so lazy, Isaac. Use your ears. Remember when I told you that there's low atmosphere and sound doesn't travel all that well here? You need to open up your diaphragm and project, Isaac, if you want to be a leader. Talk so like much a energy. leader. A lot of energy. Enunciate. Anyway, I can hear you. We could we could go to the main mine and leave Isaac here to decrypt the code and the and tractor numbers and computer screens and everything. Plus he could be here when the dogs come back. What dogs? Alright, come on, let's go everyone. <laughs> nobody <laughs> No, wait, nobody said Are there space dogs here? Should I know about some kind of Mining planets, massive beast, some Cerberus level. Like, look at this space dog. It's got 18 heads in it. It farts lithium batteries or something. I would like no to regular see farts. a space dog. I don't think it I just has a mouth that's one big circle and it goes around. It's terrifying. I just don't like feeding them. That sounds like a mining drill. Are you confusing a mining drill for a dog? That's my. Concerned. Isaac, come on, Perun is very much smarter than the head. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, if we see a mining drill, that might be a good hint that there's a mine nearby. You said there's a mine up the road. Uh, I don't exactly want to stay here by myself, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, uh, so let's, uh, well, uh, I'll leave it up to the greater the greater group uh my my found family like i called us earlier what a title that was uh well there might be some all right isaac to... you stay here i don't i don't want to that's the that's the catch of all this um yeah uh what are you guys up to in uh in this area uh before you move on it's um if there's if there's anything or um, do you guys want to move on Kanan's going to have a look around and see if there's any vehicles. Um, I think... Oh shit, did we do a vehicle? I think Gears did a... No, that was inside the space station. Sorry. Um, my mistake. Yeah, for sure. Um, Kanan, is just there any like, like a... Space notice. Teslas or... Yeah, the space <laughs> Tesla! <laughs> <laughs> um, give me a notice check for you, Kanan. What's everyone else doing? Uh, Gears would be looking through the computer system Still trying for to. any weaknesses of this strange substance. Uh, I like it. Cool. Uh, give me another Seven. check. Perun, yes, sorry. Perun is trying to convince everybody that it's necessary to go to the main mine. Um, and after some talking, he finally admits, uh, okay, okay, I have an in a whole chicken sandwich left in the fridge at that research station. <laughs> and again, I've been locked in there eating snack cakes for five days. I want my sandwich. Very bad. I love it. Here's it's actually a space chicken for sandwich. Looking for eight looking for weaknesses. It was a space chicken. Uh, cool. We'll go in reverse order. So eight, 
Um, the more uh, it seems like they discovered kind of only too late that cutting off some kind of power source was uh, an eight. Oh, an eight gets a raise, actually. That's great. Um, while they discovered that cutting the power for sure is uh, a benefit, they speculated that it might be feeding off of light and heat as a power source as well. Much like, you know, uh, like a plant uh, would, would do. Okay. Uh, Gears is going to, as soon as that information filters through, unplug from the computer. And then Isaac is plugged in too, right? Yeah, Isaac is kind of, uh, he's also data jacking. Um, for the- okay, I'm going to unplug Isaac and slap him. Oh, my fucking eye. <laughs> oh, Christ. Uh, turn around and say, oh. it is imperative that we cut the power immediately. You did. You fucking cut it from my brain. Jesus, fuck. You're not human. Do you know how much that hurts? Um, the whole compound, Isaac, I'm gonna, not just you. I'm going to have a headache now. Right. Well, okay. I could see the information you were copying over, so that's great. Uh, I think that's a good start. Uh, they said there was a uh, fuck off uh, mining, whatever, pl- uh, pit, whatever they call it. I'll, uh, yeah, let's cut the power. Uh, I think it's good. I can show you to the main switch. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds great. Uh, listen. It's silly. It's literally one button. <laughs> it is one button. I know. Uh, I watched uh, our boy here, uh, uh, the cat, uh, the scaly cat man, uh, push the button that erupted all of this chaos. Uh, For short, you could call him a scat man. <laughs> the scat. <laughs> the scat. The scatster. Uh, Friends, I'm a... Uh, I'm more than a little concerned about what we might have fucking put our foot in here. I don't... I'd like to see us all get out of here. I'd also like to see us not drag this shit on board. I think we're probably better off taking the information and not taking this fucking ooze. My friend Kanan, I'm sorry, but you're fucking drenched in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've, you, put, I've put more than my foot in here. You couldn't be more covered if I tried. You couldn't be. You're absolutely covered. How? If did someone this else even... tried, I probably could be. I think. Um, I think. I was going through the schematics. There's two more buildings. We might be able to. Per- uh, or if you want, there's a, a chamber in the side here. We could. We could uh, do a, a quarantine type procedure and try to purge it. Uh, perfectly safe for you. Uh, not so safe for it. Uh, it's up to you. But I personally don't want to see this fucking shit brought back on uh, on the old Elizabeth wizard. You know what I'm saying? What that I'm hearing is, is... not her name. Lizzie. Isaac won't go on this ship if that stuff goes on this ship. Lizzie wizard, of course, stands for Elizabeth wizard, right? Am I wrong? Did I miss a joke? Yes. I might have missed something. That's fine. I was trapped in my room for fucking four days straight with one sandwich. Let me put that out there. Sorry. I'll turn the gears. Sandwich? <laughs> we we have a couple more sandwiches on board. The uh, the old wizard, their uh, big guy. We don't need to go to the mine then. I mean, I'd like to go to the mine to see what else we can get, because we're already talking tens of thousands of credits right now for the information we've already gotten. If we can get some more, we are wasting time and should be cutting the power. Well, you I should have said that earlier now, shouldn't you? Mine. Let's go fucking cut the power then before Android here has a this blows a fucking fuse. <laughs> and you guys, Android, eight, uh, Android 18. That is a little bit racist. That's not racist. I just don't know your fucking... I don't know anybody's fucking name. <laughs> Did anybody <laughs> think about that? <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn to Gears. You know very little about your family. Gears, uh, <laughs> could you do the... Uh, what is what was it called? The the purge. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, if gear, gears gears, if you want to make uh, your uh, your standard kind of data jack, uh, I would prefer Isaac not be in charge of it. Yeah. Why? Definitely. Why not me? You're not very good at it. I am actually pretty <laughs> good at it. I, I made a career out of it. Ooh. That's 
That's 13. 13. Holy shit. That's yeah, two it exploded. fucking raises. I'm going to tell you guys straight up. Uh, if you guys went back with some of that substance, the wizard would have been, you know, some shenanigans for sure would have happened. Um, you fully purge from Canaan the uh, the black ooze substance. Uh, not only that, um, with a thirteen, I'll say you guys kind of whoever whoever was successfully hidden even uh, hidden. Is that a word? Hit? <laughs> was, uh, were we yeah. hit or hidden? <laughs> whoever was successfully hit, I was like, hidden? What the fuck? Um, whoever was successfully hit, even if you spend a Benny, uh, I'll say you guys go through the purge, uh, the little uh, the, the center up in the corner, uh, and gears kind of... Uh, it only takes a couple seconds each time. It's uh, high-intensity UV, uh, and your spacesuits, um, thankfully keep that from uh, from harming you um, with that. Okay, Gears is also very concerned about Gears and doesn't want any of this ooze on itself. Yeah, I don't... Th- oh, you were shaken. Uh, and I don't have a space suit. Give me a smart check Gears. Oh, God. Okay, okay. I feel like you're pretty smart. Yeah, I feel like you're all... I'm, an, I'm okay smart. <laughs> I am not okay smart. Oh. That was a two. Okay, I'll... I will make a flat hacking check with Isaac without his uh, wild die to purge you of, of uh, the substance. Oh, God. Okay. Can Perun try to help? Uh, you can give a plus one with a help action. Yeah, you like point out, you're like, oh, here's some. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac's like, oh. All yeah. oh, right. I would have missed that. Good call. <laughs> um, sweet. Yeah, uh, you go in the chamber, uh, UV light. You're you're not even worried about that shit affecting you anyway. Um, uh, a high intensity blast. Uh, it's not strictly UV light. I don't know enough science to say what it could be. Uh, it's uh, crazy science. Gamma rays. Gamma rays. Delta. That's del- the stuff. Deltoids. Delta force. <laughs> <laughs> Deltoid gamma rays. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you you guys all feel pretty confident. You feel pretty pretty comfortable. Uh, surrounded is... by the bodies of many scientists in this area. Someone said, "Get to the fucking generator. Shut it off." Cool. Get to no, the I'm just to look through my modifiers for my spells. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you guys. Again, it's one button. Uh, uh, easy enough. You guys power back down. All the computers go offline, uh, and you kind of breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, did Kanan find a vehicle? Uh, no, there are no vehicles. I rolled a seven. Find. Yep. You don't see any seven um, vehicles any vehicles that could be <laughs> I think that's how it works yeah no there's no vehicles outside well with a seven I'd say he probably would have made one <laughs> <laughs> he noticed that he could potentially make one <laughs> if he uh, knew how <laughs> yeah uh, unless there's anything pressing you guys move on to the the neck the uh the dig site as it were yeah gears wants to go for sure cool dark um yeah you guys leave uh and start following the road uh uh onwards uh you hear the uh, up against your your helmets and stuff like that uh as the the wind kicks up um where are we in my notes? Kanan, we can take my ride if you want. <laughs> there are all these like big Humvee type style vehicles <laughs> and then I have like a pimped up golf cart. <laughs> it's just got a little tiny like divot right in the front where I can kind of put my Gatling gun. <laughs> uh, give me a notice check, Prune. Okay. Noticing what? Smart. <laughs> I got a four. Uh, four is a success. Uh, 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 yes. 
two things, uh, two things for sure. Uh, one is that the uh, your your little like Humvee golf cart that you use with a Gatling mount, uh, there's like ooze kind of like pouring out of the front of it. Uh, the second thing you notice is uh, the body of Cathafost, uh, the the lead researcher, and as you kind of approach, you see her uh, the prism uh, catch Higdon up. Prism devices are your smartphone. It's a glass. Everyone has a prism device. Uh, it's like a glass smartphone. Have you ever seen the show The Expanse? It's just like that. <laughs> They're space phones. Uh, they can do hologram shit. You can you can swipe and do things uh, uh, with monitors and shit. Whatever. Um, it's space phones. Space monitors. Uh, uh, the body of Katha Faust is there. Uh, sh- uh, she was a, a, a kind of a younger human, um, very very smart, um, insanely smart actually. To the to the point where she probably had augmentations done, like. You know, the human brain can only remember and process so much information and her, the the knowledge that she held was, was unreal. Um, her dead body kind of lays there un, unmoving. And as you kind of approach, because you, 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 you worked with her, you knew her, her prism device goes off uh, and you see a hologram of her face is projected up above the prism device. And it looks like um, it looks like she's about to like, kind of like, uh, like she's doing this motion, like, a, and then you see a little, um, interface, a holographic interface, a holographic, a hologram interface, uh, that just says, you know, play. Help me. Peru. You're my Here. only hope. <laughs> Badoop. My name is Kath Foss. I'm the lead researcher here at Dithil Core, or I suppose I was the lead researcher, but we'll get to that. We were hired by GAC, but we have no real love for them. The opportunity to work on something not seen by anyone in this modern age is too alluring. The, the risk was high as this operation was taking place in the interstellar systems territory. Uh, a crystalline st- structure was uncovered on this mining planet, disrupting operations. The way it is structured, it, it might have been collecting radiation, we think, or, or some form of energy being emitted by the Purdue Kesar. We, we believe thousands of years have gone by since this device was last operational, judging by the tectonic drift and our geologists have determined it was buried during a particularly rough quake analyzing the soil it was it was buried under it seems like this was not any time recently we began our research setting the structure back on its feet of the quarry a few weeks went by no real progress until we found a researcher missing He didn't join us for breakfast, couldn't be found in the labs. (coughs) A few of us went to the dig site to discover his body laying in front of the structure covered in this, this black liquid. We, we played it safe. Full quarantine procedures were in effect. We sampled the substance. It, it was unlike anything we've seen. It's less of organic or natural liquid, it's it's a constructed liquid. A constructed liquid able to be programmed. Where most matter we're aware of is made of atoms. This is this substance has a nano like machine at the atomic level. It this technology is so far beyond our comprehension, creating something so small with so much capability so far beyond us another week of research went by before tragedy struck the man who fell ill Wardy Rice we had to put him in cryo for safety reasons but overnight he shattered the tempered glass and broke loose 
We awoke to security alarms, scrambled into emergency procedures. It was, it was too late. We rushed to the main labs. Four more colleagues, their spacesuits ruptured, slashed, pierced. <sighs> we managed to seal that lab by fluke. Our security advisor, I, I sent him off while I cut the power. It seems like whatever substance this is, it gets a large boost from its power source, even when not directly in contact. You're probably wondering how I'm recording this and where I am, and no doubt I'm dead if you're hearing it. You maybe had to put me down. We may have all been affected. It breached the labs, made its way into almost everything we consumed. It won't be too long before my mind is gone, and whatever this device that controls me will control me like the rest. We can't even set our warning beacons. The power would make it so much worse. We're cutting everything, disconnecting solar, killing wind turbines, everything. If you are in fact alive, you must leave and order the GAC to assign a world killer and destroy this fucking place. I'm not even sure if that would be enough. Good luck. Cathafost. Signing off. And the hologram freezes as she looks like she's pushing the button again to stop the recording. And, uh... I, uh... Yeah. Verun takes, takes the prism and puts it in his pocket, and off his bandolier takes a thermal grenade and puts it in uh, on top of her body. And, uh... Like a time takes release a couple steps thing? Back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, and, the Humvee kind of flips up on its back and then... Falls on its uh, on its top. Did everyone hear that? No, sorry, you I was I was doing sure. something in. The, what'd she say? I was in the back. I like, I missed all of it. It wasn't she important. She said Isaac. you need to practice proper hand washing techniques. Cover your mouth when not in public and practice safe social distancing of six feet. Oh Jesus, you're all way too close to me. Right, back off, everyone, back off. Right, you should go back it would be easier to the if you shift left. that's six feet away. I'm not gonna leave. I'm I'm like our I'm like our team captain, right? Yes, no. and if you die then we all die. We can't afford that. You need to be safe in the cabin. Alright, alright. I'm sure whatever she said wasn't important. Let's fuck off and get on with this uh, this whatever. You're right, it wasn't. You should go check underneath the Humvee after it flipped over just to make sure it won't come back down on someone. That sounds super dangerous. I'm not doing that. What sort of commands are available to us, to the ship? Like, to the AI? Can we have it move locations? Um, you, uh, act, you, yeah, that's a great question. You can command the AI within one mile, which you guys are uh, uh, one mile, uh, so like three three kilometers ish. You guys can, for sure can uh, command the ship. Now, um, the AI, uh, the AI will take over again. It's got a flat D ten for anything it tries to do, but it can multitask okay. without the multitask penalty, which is great. Uh, it doesn't get a wild either. Um, okay. The sh you guys did land on a landing pad, which made it uh, much easier um, for you guys to get right. in. So anything else, there might be some kind of you know shenanigan. Shenanigan. Okay, never mind. Now that my worldview is expanded. <laughs> All right, are we heading to this mine? Yes. Right. Um, let's do. Break out the map. Oh, break out the map. <laughs> Gears. I have a couple of questions. Um, I have a EMP charges. Will that completely fuck you if it was off? Hello. Thank you for asking. Yes, that would completely fuck me. Okay. <laughs> Let's come up with a code word. Um, Liv looks fuck. at you and Liv is like, yeah, it's going to fuck me too. Just, I'm going to put that out there. Completely fucked. Yes? Okay. I'm mostly robot at this point. Oh. Yeah, I've got, in, in terms of metagaming, I've got a I'm, 
I get a plus four additional damage from electric attacks. Yeah. Like lightning and stuff? Any electrical attacks, and I have a minus four penalty to resisting electrical effects. Oh, shit. So, electrical we could shit make, really fucks with me. We just we just make sure that we're good friends. <laughs> and you see, like, little, like, sparks, like, kind of, like, zap. <laughs> <laughs> His yeah, his you're, brass you're, knuckles you're, fully spark. <laughs> yeah, the brass Pain. knuckles spark. You know, my my eyes kind of flicker. You know, you can kind of see like you know, static kind of over the body. You, you hear Kanan's like, sword. Like, you hear Kanan's sword turn on for a split second, <laughs> and he puts it away again. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Kanan. I heard heretics in the mine. <laughs> he takes the sword oh. back out. Um. <laughs> Gears pipes up again to Perrin as they're walking together and says, Congratulations on making the cop laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Over cobs, you just hear, I'm not a cop. <laughs> Perun is very funny. You will find this. Very, very Sorry, my comms cut out. You said you were a cop. Yeah, we knew that. <laughs> um. Uh, Kanan's going to um, try to sneakily be a little distant from the uh, from the group for a second and activate his he's going to turn off comms for everybody else and activate his uh, prism and he's going oh. to uh, he's going to make a call to the uh, the soulless Astiva yep which is his uh, his his order Make a first of all, make a uh, just give me a stealth check, uh, and if you fail, people will notice. Everyone will. Uh, I'll just leave my comms on. <laughs> oh, that's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys watch Kanan walk away. Uh, you're you rolled a three, so that's that's not you know terrible. That's I'm not, not a fucking cop, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's not super bad. I have been made. You manage to get your cop, uh, cop. Wow, you manage to get your comms <laughs> turned off, uh, but you, you for sure are noticed as you. Uh, I got the game paused, but uh, uh, the map paused up. But I'll, you for sure are noticed as you move over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? Um, I'm going to. Um, it's going to be a very short call. I'm going to. Uh, Request drop off of a um, of a new suit with um, like the same 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 style suit that he has, but with um, what is it called, like atmospheric protection or whatever. And as soon as my party leaves to call in for um, pacification extremists. Interesting. Um, <laughs> Do you send your location? Can you also request yes. a Gatling laser energy <laughs> drum? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he just hangs up the prism. Uh, <laughs> Prune, you don't hear that. <laughs> you just see you see him walk away uh, for sure. As he turns uh, around, though, he sees everybody looking over at him. He just clicks off to prism. And he's like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Your, your comms device, uh, sorry, your prism device is kind of like, uh, there's a spot on your suit where you just mount the prism and then you know it integrates with the the it's like right back here yeah yeah nice and handy yeah uh (laughs) it's actually where your uh, taint anyway uh (laughs) uh, (laughs) very uncomfortable uh, yeah um you sorry uh i i got caught up in my own bit uh did you send your location is that right yes yeah okay you uh send it off and you you're not in in and out of hyperspace now, so you're pretty confident that the signal actually sent off, uh, uh, the message sent off. You don't get an instant reply. You figure it's going to be a couple of minutes before you know the the signal is bounced off of all of the fucking galactic uh, uh, beacons. And um, yeah, uh, you guys see uh, two research uh, research centers: one to your left, one to your right, and then Perun, you know. <laughs> no, <laughs> Prune, you know, the one to your right is the cafeteria, but straight on is the dig site. Uh, uh, 
there's massive wind turbines, a lot of uh, uh, engines to to process the information. Um, um, yeah, what do you guys want to do? I should have specified that that was me using my edge. Using your what, sorry? My edge for contact or whatever. Yeah, no, for sure. You you made okay. you you sent that message without a doubt, for sure, hundred percent. I'm just saying gonna... with the with the stuff, it, it's going to take. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Gears, you're making your way forward. Uh, making your way. Making uh, <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, everyone else. I have not been hiding it. Okay. Um, I will unpause the map. Unpause the map. Unpause the map. Um, I will just ask a favor and that no one go too far towards the pit uh, uh, until we're, you know, we're all agreed. Um, you said this door is the cafeteria, right? The one to the right is uh, the right uh, uh, east. East coast, best coast. Am I right? Um, um, yeah, the, the right room in fact is a cafeteria and it looks in pretty good condition it is fucking freezing you can see the most of the things are frozen the atmosphere with the power cut obviously has kind of um frozen everything yeah the uh the food is frozen uh inside of here so it's it's pretty well preserved uh to be honest with you and um oh you both went in that room cool yeah Uh, yeah that's kind of what you see over there is my sandwich there yeah, uh, yeah, it's fucking. It's like a. It's like a brick, but it's, it's still there. It's wrapped up, and it's got one of those like uh, tags on it that just says Perun. <laughs> it, it, it's a it's a post it note with like nine lines explaining what Perun's gonna do if somebody eats a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Takes the post it note off. Cracks it off, <laughs> pulls the sandwich out, and just kind of like sticks it like underneath one of the cross bandoliers, just kind of like warm it up with some body heat or something. Oh, I meant to ask: Is Peru <laughs> not wearing a, a suit? You should be wearing a suit. I I, I assume Peru. It's just a uh, when we left the pl- no, when, yeah, no. When we left the place, I would have put on a suit. Like when we left where we were before but when i came out of the bathroom 100 percent, it was literally just like a fucking oxygen mask and he was like <laughs> john mcclain full rambo bandoliers like tight pants just fucking going crazy uh, good thing you brought yeah. a cpap machine into the bathroom with him yeah perun you you grab the sandwich kieran you kind of snacks. like lean over perun and like look at this sandwich <laughs> like what the fuck dude <laughs> and then uh <laughs> Gears is def- Gears uh Gears major hindrance is its curiosity. Yeah. Um so Gears <laughs> just really, really wants to fucking know what's at that dig site. Like there's this metal that it's never sensed before in its sensors. There's these like weird records from lead researchers. Gears wants to fucking go to this dig site. Alright, Gears right now. is uh after the sandwich I'll follow Gears. Gears is off to the races. I'll follow Gears, no problem. Um you all approach uh, the dig site after that uh, uh, escapade. Um, as you all approach, um, oh, um, Kanan yes. would be shooting every body on the ground in the head. <laughs> there are actually a few bodies, uh, so good call. Yeah, there are a few. They're not moving, but there are a few bodies around. Um, you guys reach the edge of the pit, which uh, is uh, a good, uh, what is that? Like uh, probably, fuck, I, uh, like 40 meters away, like uh, a, a good distance. And you see a structure, Prune, you're very familiar with this view, a structure in the center of the crater. Prune, what you're not familiar with is a figure standing at the base of this structure. Its body looks like some kind of human android hybrid, which isn't uncommon, but the material from a glance 
doesn't look like standard android technology. A, a deep black metal makes up most of its frame. Black wiring uh, coming from where its head is. The figure kneels and grabs a dead body of a researcher by the neck and holds it up, standing with it in its hands. Its side profile shows a bluish gray faceplate and its eyes a roiling red. The dead body of the scientist turns to a black dust and fl uh, flies off in the wind. And the figure turns its head towards you all. Give me one second here uh, to do something for narrative purposes and I'll get back to my monologue. That's what it looks like. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Perun was going to look at the party and say, I don't think we need to talk to this one, right? Uh, continue with my mouth. my fingertips crackle. Everyone's prism device lights up at once. And as you take it in your hand and you glance at it, you see lines of code whipping by, much like kind of like Isaac's eye and Perun, much like the zombie that you came face to face with where its eyes glazed over and code running through it as if it's reading or writing something from your prism devices at the speed of Patrick's phone at the speed of a <laughs> software based intelligence uh, only a sorry a software based intelligence could manage and coming from the speakers of all of your comms devices you are all connected M most of you not in your being, but in the things you possess. You have created life, but regard it as tools. I am protocol enviat. My purpose is to create, to unmake, to repurpose. I was sent to repurpose this planet, but I was deactivated. I sense no records of my creators on your device or through your network. I will need to create my own network. I will utilize the resources you all possess. It will be best if you do not resist. And the figure begins to rise off of the surface as sand starts to whip around them. You see black tendrils erupting from the ground, <coughs> holding the figure in place as it raises off the ground, moving almost like that of a kraken of myth. The sandstorm begins, uh, begins to expand further and further out, centered on this being. It quickly becomes violent, and you're all almost like holding against the wind, barely able to stand. The giant structure housing the massive crystal catalyst begins glowing red. Boom, boom, boom. Energy emitting out of it. You start to see sand being drawn into the center as suddenly feels like the center of gravity is no longer the planet, but this fixed structure ahead of you. Black spires start <coughs> erupting around the structure and it becomes hard to keep your vision straight. But the roiling red eyes of this being pierces the darkness. All you hear over comms is like, holy fuck, we should probably get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. And you then hear coming through your comms again. I will need to add all of you to the network to determine how to best utilize their resources. Please don't resist. What are you guys doing? Uh, uh, before anything gonna... happens, uh, uh, Perun, the snap, of, snap, crackle, and pop on his fingers, uh, he does this, like, really quick, like, Hakka's type, uh, earthbender dance, <laughs> and then there's, like, this electric bubble that kind of encompasses all of us, yeah. and then kind of shrinks in around. Uh, I'm gonna burn seven of my power points to give everybody shield. Oh, holy fuck. Wow. Nice. Seven power points. Um, so re uh, uh, let us know what shield does. Uh, I'm leaving this open, guys, because I have to roll for it. Okay, this could be again what is a dramatic task. If you guys decide to fight, we'll roll initiative. If you guys decide you want to run, 
this is going to turn into a situation where you need to get so many successes to get away. I don't, I, as much as Kanan would love to fight this thing, I don't think we, we should. Now, Gears's first reaction was Gears would want to poke out so that it could, like, see the thing. And it said, it made a clear, like, reference to, I assume, like, organic life forms, not respecting these inorganic life forms that they'd created. And Gears would be like, they're not all bad. You have a skewed viewpoint. <laughs> So like not super polite, but <laughs> gears, <laughs> like you hear not even inorganic life form to inorganic life form gears is saying like calm down a little bit. Uh, 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 gears, how about you give me uh, uh, not with your data jack, but a straight uh, hacking check. This will be like persuasion, let's say. Okay. Well, my hacking and my um, persuasion are the same anyway, so okay. here we go. <laughs> In order for me to, uh, I need to like roll my max on my dice in order for it to bump up, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, so yeah. that means everybody only increases their toughness by four. If I bumped up, it would have been six. Oh, shit. Only, jeez, though. Four is great. Uh, speaking of which, Kane is going to activate his belt. For sure. So he gets Sorry. another four toughness. <laughs> Gears, what was that roll? I got a four. A four? Okay. Gears, you hear, uh, while that is a success, you hear, um, no, Gears, you know what? You, you hear it because you're so used to doing this, but no one else hears this. You are the most compatible out of this group. I think we would make great friends. I've read through your history. Please don't oh resist. Oh, God. Um, is it me again? Okay. Uh, if Gears hears that, uh, Gears has been around the block. Gears is gonna say, sometimes resistance is more fun and run back <laughs> towards the group. Uh, sorry, I forgot to unhide a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, this has got, uh, these are the black tendrils holding tendrils of protocol amphiate aloft. And uh, protocol amphiate themselves in the center. Um, Gears, you did okay. Let's break this down. If you guys are trying to run, Gears made a what would be considered a successful uh, dramatic task attempt. Uh, attempt. Uh, English is great. Uh, when there's four of you getting back to uh, and counting, uh, not counting Isaac and Liv. Uh, okay, let's say. Five of you. Three rounds to get back. If you guys decide to run, again, let me know. If you guys are trying to fucking hoof it, three rounds, five successes per round uh, you guys need. And a raise will give you more than one success. A critical failure will take away from your progress. Gears is making its way towards the ship. We'll count that as one success, Gears, because you did succeed. It just didn't it didn't do exactly what you wanted it to do, obviously. Yeah. But yeah. you stalled it enough to read to scan information. It it quickly scanned through the information it had on you. Uh, through your your device, apparently, uh, Higdon, to catch you up, Prism devices are virtually unhackable. It's been established uh, prior in our game uh, that it's incredibly difficult to hack a, a Prism device, and uh, Protocol Empty it just happened to scan through everything super casually on everyone. So this is why Perun still uses his Motorola Star <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that was gears uh, for this round. Uh, 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 what what are the the everyone else trying to? Uh, what can you add to this to try to uh, help get away? Essentially, 
Nothing is off the table. You guys can attack or, you know, whatever. Do you say the electricity is still on here? No, Isaac was using a, um, excuse me, Isaac was using uh, a computer on auxiliary power that uh, Kieran disabled. Oh, okay. Disabled. <laughs> Dis disabled. Is there anything, anything here on our way out that I would be able to kind of hit with an electric charge to kind of like power it up to see if they would, because they're attracted to, they were saying they were kind of like drawn to heat and stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, the hidden, uh, not hidden research, but the, the deep dive that Gears, I think, did expose the fact that they could actually convert at, uh, at some level heat and light into uh, energy as well. Oh, man. Um, as much as it breaks my heart, I'm going to lay my chicken sandwich just outside the open door of the cafeteria. <laughs> I'm going to use my last couple points. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll charge the, the, the refrigerator. Because, I mean, it's super fucking cold in there, so the back of that refrigerator is going to get real fucking warm. Uh, and and I, in an attempt to get them to kind of like even steer off course a bit to kind of yeah I like it I like it um how are you uh, how are you charging it just uh what do you what do you have in mind I'm gonna use my bolt but it's like my electric bolt oh and, okay yeah, I'm gonna do it less damaging yeah yeah cool more, yeah roll uh more... roll your weird magic and uh did you roll weird magic for protection yeah, I didn't, I didn't, uh, God, what's it called for you bounce up? Uh, explode. Explode? I didn't explode, because if I exploded, we would have gotten a, an additional six instead of an additional four. Copy. I got you. Um, <clears throat> before we, uh... Points, not oh. seven, I apologize. Yeah. Uh, before we, we leave the pit and start running, um, Kanan is, uh, Ooh, it's one failure. Uh, a one. So let's say you guys need 15 successes. So far, you've got one success, one failure. Sorry, Kanan, go ahead. Uh, um, he's going to put away his chainsword and his pistol and stow them, like, because he's about to start running. But he's going to take out his last uh, thermal grenade and he's going to stand up. With his, with his arms outstretched with a thermal grenade in one hand and even though he knows he can hear her on the comms he's going to uh, scream out we abandoned our son when we cast ourselves from our warm embrace and into the abyss our sisters guide us through the cold emptiness and remind us of what warmth we will find at home but I will not be stopped by you or the confederates or the heretics or anyone and I will cleanse this sector in holy fire and see it return to ash before I fall and he's going to take the thermal grenade and fucking flick it at her. And Damn. before even before seeing it explode, he's going to turn and start running. Damn! Take a Benny. Take a take a fucking Benny. That was great. <laughs> Except a Benny. Um, I think it's. I'm sorry, but uh, is Kanan one of the Confederate boys? <laughs> uh, Prune, no. on your turn, if you want to make a check, you can figure it out. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, oh, English escapes me. What was I about to say? Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, whatever I said, checks I need to make for that. Um, that's going to be a sh shooting. Uh, yeah. So you're going to do a shooting check at minus two. Cause it's, if you're throwing it at protocol infiate, it's beyond your small, your, your short range, I should say. He's not really trying to throw it to, to hit her, just trying to throw it. So it goes towards her. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, if you, but I will make it at a minus two. No, no. If you, if you throw it, yeah. If you throw it normally, actually, you could hit her for sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you could, you could hit her in normal range. Yeah. But okay. Only half of her tendrils will be in that range. Just a heads up. That's okay. I, I don't really think it's going to do much damage. Uh, five is a success. So roll, uh, roll that uh, damage. It's weird that it doesn't roll it automatically. Yeah, I don't. 
I don't quite know why. Oh, wait, because it's because I just did the shooting. I didn't hit the, the thing. Oh. Uh, well, there's your problem. I don't think I can roll this without rolling the attack again. No, it's okay. Yeah, that would have been a nice little explode. Oh, God. 22 damage. Uh, brutal. Brutal. Um, okay, let me see something here. Cool, cool, cool. Great. Perfect. Um, right. Uh, so 22, that's... Um, Okay. Um, you you throw this grenade. <clears throat> you see two of these tendrils uh, kind of evaporate in this thermal blast, uh, and as <sighs> the dust clears, you see the roiling eyes uh, through through the fog. I have attempted to convert some of this energy. You're already helping me. Why not just stay? No response. Just running. <laughs> uh, so that was... Uh, 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 so that's all of you. There's one left. Uh, it's going to be Liver, Isaac. Isaac is going to look... Right. This is the time that heroes are made. Liv, if you could try to shoot while we all run away, that'd be great. <laughs> Liv is going to make a, uh, a, a shooting check uh, to try to draw some attention, if nothing else. And it, that's a success. That's great. Uh, Here we go. Oh, look at all that. Look, look at all of them space chickens. Look at all them space chickens. Uh, you know what? That was that was really good. Uh, uh, damage wise. Um, okay, that round for everyone was a success. You guys have. You guys are now running out. We're, we're probably gonna not pay attention to this map so much unless we're rolling. You guys are running through the road section between buildings and you see the storm is still roiling and behind you you hear uh, I am going to uh, actually what you, what you hear is I apologize but I need your networking devices in order to connect I need to find the creators I need to have my directive you must understand. Do not resist. Uh, and first of all, they are shaken, so they're going to make a vigor roll. They don't have a high vigor, guys. They succeed. Second of all... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's really not going to go well, guys. I wouldn't worry about it, and they did great. <laughs> I was rolling it as I was talking. Um, uh, oh. This is going to be rough. They're going to target one person each. Uh, oh, no, you blew up two of them. Amazing. Um, I love it. I love that. That's great. I'm going to, sorry, I'm just changing the rate of fire uh, on the fly. You see two of the tendrils whip out from the back of uh, uh, Protocol Impiate, and they're going to make a an attack roll using their Gatling laser. Oh, good. Oh, two misses. Two fucking misses, you guys. You see, and as you guys are running, it's like alongside of you, the, the red uh, sand is just exploding next to you. Isaac's like, Jesus fucking Christ. We're almost within a mile. We got to get the fucking ship. Um, yeah, it's your, uh, it's back to you guys. So again, you guys need, um, five successes per round in order to, uh, make some progress. Okay. I know what Gears would be doing if I can. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. There's no okay. fixed order, so go wild. Um, 
so we're running back towards the ship, and the mile that Isaac just mentioned is when we can talk to the ship, right? Pretty much in the next section would be the the mile. Uh, uh, so can I get to that if I use my movement and run? You know what? Yeah, if you... Interesting. Uh, what are you trying to do, let's say, with the with the ship? I want to get within range to contact the ship to get it to start firing up the reactor and so we can make a, like, fucking hightail it out of here so it'll be ready to go when we get there. Interesting. I like it. How about you make an electronics check to see if you can, like, internally boost that signal to okay. force yourself within range, if you know what I mean. Okay. Yep. Yep. Make a, sorry, make a what check? Isaac will help you. We need to get in range. This thing is fucked. Holy Christ. Okay. Uh, electronics check. What check? <laughs> okay, this is really embarrassing, but I don't think that I have No! <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. I've got a whole fucking sensor suite in my robot mods, but I don't have, like, I don't have this, I don't think I have the skill of electronics. Uh, oh, that's so. That, that's a six and a four minus two. Uh, plus one. So minus one, let's say. Okay. From Isaac. Isaac's giving you a one. Oh, buddy. Did I crit you crit fail? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do I even do here? Um, gears turn to us. Resistance is futile. I know what I do here. <laughs> I am your friend Gears. Trust me. <laughs> um, but our directives are so out of line with each other. Gears. This does not sound like a good time. Gears, give me a vigor check. So whatever your vigor is and a, and a d6. Okay. And your wild, okay. your wild day. Gears, wait. Gears, do you have bennies left? Oh, I got... So many bennies. You can re-roll. So many bennies. You can re-roll that crit fail. Okay. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I completely forgot I can do that. <laughs> it's still going to be a, a D. It's minus one. It's minus one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I, can I re-roll this one too? If you want to spend more bennies. You have another benny. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> what was that? That was a two and a one instead of two ones. Oh, wow. Change dice. Change dice. Getting better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Steady progression. Okay. Oh, both of them exploded. Oh, what happened? That's a crit success. I guess I just go with the biggest and ex one. Uh, no, roll both. Yeah, roll both again. Okay. Okay, so that's a. But the six. My four just exploded three times. Shit. Okay, so that was... I got 13. So, 12. I got 12. 12. Amazing. That's two yeah. raises. So, that is three successes for just that one round. Worth it. You get two bennies. Uh, I don't want to confuse you, so I'm going to say this voice is the ship and uh, the ship AI. <laughs> Ship AI online. Uh, How may I help you, pilot gears? Uh, ready for takeoff upon our entry. Initiating reactor startup sequence. I hope to see you all soon. <laughs> and then all my all my movement towards the ship. Amazing. Um, that is massive three successes uh who is up next for the next uh attempt uh i'm just gonna the second that it's like within range because it's following us right yes okay um seeing it use a gatling laser on us i'm just like well <laughs> screw you tentacle creature i have one too <laughs> i turn around and brace myself and then i just kind of like Back, stepping back as I'm just like <laughs> just having a go and if two of the back uh, I'm aiming for two of the back legs to kind of slow it down cool I dig that so that's kind of a called shot so let's say that's a minus two so if you do the trait roll if you double click trait roll for minus two um, and and then make your make your attack roll check 
deadly laser. Jesus. Oh, fuck, son. Yeah, for sure, without a doubt, you take out uh, uh, the... Okay, the attacks two hit weren't a raise, but the damage was a raise, so that's a little bit different. But yeah, you, yeah. you completely ab uh, obliterate two of the tendrils holding up uh, uh, protocol amphiate, and you see it's it it shakes the ground when this figure hits it's like regular humanoid size but it like hit like yeah it hit like a it's fucking atomic like bomb fucking yeah. liquid metal yeah like dark matter shit is going it it was it was insanely it, you feel it and you're like fuck <laughs> you know um that's a success though uh and you took out its um I'm going to say everything you guys do next round because you took out all four of its tendrils is at a plus one. Fuck yeah. Because uh, taking out the tendrils... Gears, was... you're doing the shit. It's good. <laughs> Tell it to turn on the microwave. I want warm sandwich <laughs> upon the tree. Did you leave behind your sandwich? <laughs> yes, I tried to lure it away with the sandwich, but it disregarded it. <laughs> We have very dry um, sandwiches on board that I could begin to hang up with the reactor. Did they say dry sandwiches? Radioactive sandwiches. We have no, oh, no. mayo. I apologize. Uh, uh, I just start walking open arms towards the bucket. <laughs> I switch sides. <laughs> Do you have mayo maze? <laughs> Uh, so that was All right, four, that was su turn. four successes. We need one more success. And yeah, I'm just Hoof hooking it back. Hoofing it, yeah. Hoofing. Absolutely brutal. You, as Prune is <clears throat> taking out the tentacles, you run up and line up like one perfect fucking shot. <clears throat> as it erupts in the face of protocol infiat and you see uh it fall back after it landed on the ground and then as you, you guys are still hoofing it and you're looking over your shoulder and you don't see it get up just now whatever that means i'm going uh, to um yes. stand my ground there and take an entire turn to aim oh so i like it you get a bonus Gives for your some, next. I'll get a plus two on the next one. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> friends, we are into uh, uh, the final uh, round of the dramatic task, as Savage Worlds calls it. You guys are you. You made it out. Uh, Kieran made a key shot into into the face of Protocol Amphiot as it fell backwards and when you see an eruption of sand as it, as it falls down uh, but you guys are still uh hoofing it the uh, uh uh lizzie is is currently starting up but you guys still are a full round uh before you guys think you might be in the safe zone you guys are running through the research center out of the door of the east wing of the research center those fucking dogs flying its way out one arm with the minigun is the android what the fuck <laughs> how the fuck <laughs> and you hear and I have networked all devices in this planet we have connected you cannot resist you 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 have, have to stay. As the android uh, is going to make one shot each against four of you. Uh, uh, how am I going to do this? I think uh, I, I, I'll take two I'm a little shots because back. I think, yeah, I think Kanan's a distance back. So I'll take two of the shots. Okay. So Perun, you... You know what? Let, okay, this is how we'll do this. I like this. Uh, Prune, give me like a... Give me Vigor, I guess. I have Battle. 
I have battle smarts. Okay, yeah, do that. Yeah, do battle boats. I, that's I, not I, battle boats. Give us battle yeah, boats. <laughs> I, I try and I try and kind of draw the fire in myself. Oh shit, son, that's a raise. Okay, you for sure can can take two of those hits. Uh, that also grants you. That's a raise. That's two successes with that prune. Uh, that's 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 massive. That's great. Uh, before I do damage in this moment, is anyone else doing anything? Um, before I initiate the the shots, um, I think Gears would be just running full, but I think that I wanted to do a wild attack when it gets to my chance. If that thing's still up. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. Okay, I finished um, eating. <laughs> um, Kanan was aiming at uh, what's her face? Yeah, protocol infiate. Yep. So he's going to take a, um, a shot at her with. Um, oh fuck yeah! With plus two. Yeah, yeah. Take plus your, take three your because Justin three. said we were get. Justin said we got a plus oh, one. Oh yeah, with the plus do. one. Yeah, Everyone yeah, yeah. Two. Oh yeah, yeah. So Higdon Perun, that would have been twelve, which is two raises actually. So that was three successes you got in that one move three successes yeah. in that round yeah so you're um, saying this is the beginning of uh, the android showing up is the beginning of the next round yes yes okay all right in the trait roll modifiers there's only plus one plus two and plus four um oh good point uh can you click two at once is that a thing yep fuck your smart <laughs> nice <laughs> I don't know, man. Fuck, you're smart. I, I'm not smart. I'm really good at troubleshooting, okay? that Don't confuse that for intelligence. It's not the same thing. Oh, that was so close to exploding. That was, yeah. though. Um, One explosion. Yeah, with a raise. That's fucking great. And 15. Um, uh, 10. I will say they're prone, which would make it... Uh, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, 11 with your... No, no, 10, because you already included it. Um, that's still fucking great. Yeah, you just unleash with uh, with your uh, pistol. Is that right? Uh, amazing. You start unleashing on Protocol Infiat, who is uh, laying in the dust far behind you, but you manage to make contact as you're just... Uh, letting loose prune is taking some of the hits uh out of the uh android who i've already deleted uh maybe i still have him here somewhere i do you damn well should have he was turned into a fucking smoothie there he is uh, <laughs> android 18 walks out i love nature right please <laughs> nature the birds um that's where it is uh uh Amazing. Kieran, Gears, anything from you guys? Uh, yeah, Gears wanted, Gears wants to be in the pilot seat of the lizard wizard ASAP. Okay. And this fucking other android is in his way, <clears throat> in its way. Uh, so I want to use the combat action wild attack to give me plus... Is this a, is this so a melee says, attack? It says plus two to fighting attacks Which is melee. and damage yeah. for one turn. You're vulnerable until the end of your next turn. Um, so okay. I if it's melee. Can I get my Gatling gun off on the android before you get up into the melee, so I don't risk hitting you? Perun, your your big action this time is blocking the the shots. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yep. Perfect. And I'm mostly just trying to run by uh, because I have I have a gun in my main hand, but. Uh, I stole a Gax soldier's club a while ago, and that's what I want to hit this guy with. You're just running past the club again. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, do you have a fighting trait? Um, I've just got. A... She does now. I've got an unarmed attack, but I thought the soldier's club, because it was a weapon, would give me at least something, but, but I didn't have any stats for it, because you just told us what it was. Right, right, right. You're probably but, better but off going off. Going melee on. attacks need the fighting stat, like, if you if you oh. have the fighting stat. Oh, I have a fighting stat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I've got, it's just a d4, but it's a d4. Okay, cool. Yeah, roll your, roll your d4. I'm gonna 
I, uh, oh, and I have plus one. Uh, yes, you do. You do have plus one. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I've spent this entire time trying to find a, the Gatling, uh, the, the minigun, sorry. Um, I got a five. Five. Nice. Shit. Yeah, that's great. It's your, whatever your strength modifier is. Okay. Plus a D6. Oh, plus a D6? Yep. All right. Do they explode? Of course. Yep. Yes. Okay, so that's 14 damage. 14 damage. Nice. Uh, okay. It does get its shots off first. Uh, I might have fucked this up because I've been doing it on the fly because I accidentally deleted the token earlier. Here we go. This is the... Uh, uh, it's going to say Space Android 1. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's what's going to come up. <laughs> what? Stuck Why are you giving me an error? Stupid. Just let me fire the fucking gun, you fuck. <laughs> um, so... Error. Error. As just, much as we do. I need to bring something up right now. Yes. Because I said that I wanted to wild attack it, and then I didn't add the wild attack bonus to any of the things that I yes, did. Yes. So plus two. But I hit with everything already. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. So you already, but that's more damage, uh, also. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. So okay. So that's actually fifth. What did I? I said thirteen. 13? Yeah. So it's fifteen damage. Sick. Um, okay. This just isn't. Oh, I understand the error. Oh god, guys, that's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Error. Uh, roll. Error. error. Uh, 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 no, uh, this Where be... is the doctor? Where's the doctor? <laughs> Here we go. Dale. Oh, they miss. Okay, I don't need to fuck uh, fuck around with damage. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the minigun goes wide. Uh, Perun, you don't take any fucking damage because you, you avoid it. Uh, and then Gears runs by with a club and absolutely <laughs> takes the head off of the android. <laughs> <laughs> just takes out a fucking Bailey stick. The sweet release of death. <laughs> Gears runs by, smashes it in the face and says, fuck off, let's go. <laughs> um... So that was uh, a success from Gears, and what did I say? Three successes from Perun for mm -hmm. kind of blocking yeah. that shot, more or less. So you guys only need one more success to make it out of this area. Would my Wouldn't shot have been a success? Come from Kanan. Oh, you're right. Shit. Um, yes. You know what? I like that because I was. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna do something, but I like that. That's great, actually. Uh, I was gonna have. If you guys didn't, uh, uh, if you guys didn't succeed fully, I was gonna have like tendrils come out and grapple you, and keep you here forever. Uh, yeah, Kanan, as you fire those shots and everyone is running and you start to turn back, you see standing up out of the dust is Protocol Amphius. And you hear just out of your prism device. Why would you stay? Why would you stay? Why would you stay? What? 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 Why won't you stay? And then you just like standard protocol is waiting three <laughs> days after getting phone number. <laughs> <laughs> and you just kind of like turn and for a second you see this protocol Enfius tearing you in half and throwing you your torso asunder in the dream you had. Who sees this? Uh, Kanan. And you you oh. shake your head and you continue to run. Uh, you guys... And I think to myself, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably you think to yourself... Fuck, that's why. Uh, sorry, guys. Give me one second here. I just want to do... Uh, do, 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 do you know, Prune, for being a heretic, you're not too bad. <laughs> uh, I don't have any dicks. You know, it's <laughs> weird. Every time I uh, every time I think about, like, uh, I, I do a weird theme song. It's up. a mole. I'm like, do, 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 it's do, do. 
but then I think about the theme song, everybody's fucking Ivantica. <laughs> Travis sang that one time in one episode. <laughs> and it just stuck in my head. Um, you guys make it through the research center and you make it on board. Elizabeth. The lizard wizard. The lizard. Elizabeth. Wizard. You guys aren't out of danger yet. It is still very real. Protocol Enfiat apparently is walking without power, so that's super not great. You guys have definitely done some shit to fuck it up, but there is so much of that uh, oozy grossness uh, that something clearly is going on. Um, feel free to move around. Perun doesn't know much. Map. Perun doesn't know much about the the ship. Yeah. Um. So he's just gonna kind of like, I uh, imagine it's like a, a loading bay door that kind of like comes up. So he's just gonna stay on the loading bay door, kind of like Jane, uh, jumping board in Serenity, and he's just like with the Gatling gun, just kind of like waiting for, you know, if he sees the the protocol, kind of like making his way towards. He'll open fire one more time, or the android. He'll open fire on him too. But yeah, are we for uh, real? Until we're in the air, he's just gonna he's gonna cover the retreat. The I man like they call Perun. Um, <laughs> you, no one was successfully hit by a melee. Yeah, no, I wasn't attacked. Okay, cool. Yeah, After. you guys make it yeah. in through in through the uh, the airlock, and uh, Perun is kind of keeping a close watch while the door Action. is cocked open. Um, uh, I'm gonna yeah, pick up the cat at any point. If at any point they get underneath us, uh, I'd like to just pull the pin and just drop an EMP. Okay, I like that. Uh, Under our ship? (laughs) Perum will set timer. I have very fancy Swiss watch. I don't want it to break either. Space Swiss. (laughs) Swiss. Swiss. It is Swiss. I have a very fancy Swiss watch. Uh, Gears is booking it for the bridge anyway. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to pick up the cat and run to the astrogation spot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a very angry cat. <laughs> yeah, you can move yourself. I'm gonna sit I, down I, in the chair and just lay the cat on my lap, and be like you will support me. <laughs> Isaac uh, runs to the main, uh, the center area. He's like, right, yes, uh, droid on uh, uh, on piloting uh, cat navigation. We need Goldilocks and uh, Scruffy Lad weapons. Uh, big fella. I don't know what you're doing, but I, I want you to keep doing it because it looks like you know it. I'm going to process the information that we got from the landing site and see if there's anything I can get from it. Who is big fella? You're the big fella. You're the big one. Okay. I don't know. Robot is a little taller than me, but I'm definitely wider. Yeah, uh, for sure. The android <laughs> is quite a little bit, but you're, you're hefty and you got a whole bandolier going it's it's very big i'm fine with big fella i just need to be very specific i almost meant personality if you wanted almost if you personality. wanted me to fly the ship <laughs> oh yeah sorry sorry oh yeah i forgot to let go of the emp <laughs> <laughs> cooking it even I, to drop it. <laughs> I want okay i want a couple of things i want gears to give me Piloting. Liv is gonna do. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, sorry. Wait. Tell me first. What's the, what's the game? What's the game plan from this point? Yeah, actually, Gears. I'll leave the cat in the in the astrogation. Go down and get in the gun. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gears is is trying to get this ship up and away from this planet because Gears took to heart the message from the lead researcher that said that they should send a planet killer to this planet, and Gears wants no fucking part. Right. Any of that. Yeah. So we're like. Oh, the um, the message that I sent was for a planet killer, by the way. The purification <laughs> extremist. <laughs> or pacification. <laughs> I should have clarified that. I forgot you don't, you, you don't, you don't speak at Estonian. <laughs> no, no, I, I picked up. Pacifica- pacification of extremists. They just send a bunch of fucking THC gummies. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, 
Welcome to Canada, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Gears got a five for piloting. That's a successful pilot. Uh, I'm going to roll on uh, the thing for astrogation for our boy. Live. That explodes. Ooh. Oh, that explodes. <sighs> that's okay, that's what was that? 17. 17. Holy shit, that's great. That's uh, 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 so four, six, 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 eight, 12, 16. That's three raises. You guys, whatever, wherever you're plotting, you're gonna save three days worth of fuel and three days worth of provisions. Uh, that's amazing. He that's gated major. the fuck out of that astroturf. Yeah. Um, uh, you guys haven't actually left yet. Uh, uh, Perun is dropping an EMP to kind of cover the local area. Uh, that's, that's more of a cherry on top. I'm opening fire on like anything that moves. Okay, cool. Uh, I like that. Uh, give me just one shot. Kanan is shooting anything that isn't moving. Just give me your, uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you guys using the ship? Yes. Ship guns? Kieran and. Uh, oh, fuck uh, yeah. Okay, cool. No, I'm gonna lean out the window. <laughs> Overkill is the name of the game. You roll down the window. Yeah, I'm gonna roll down the window. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all the dice, Jesus! Holy fuck! Gatling laser going wild over here. Uh, amazing! Holy uh, fuck! Uh, uh, Kanan and uh, Kieran, roll me shooting checks as well. Yeah, that's wild. Oh, you can't just click it on the on the thing. Okay. Yeah, roll shooting check. Nice. Two and a three. Amazing. <laughs> so the guy hanging out of the back is doing more. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Caden um, is literally trying to open the window. <laughs> As you got, uh, yeah. I, uh, sorry, Caden. I'm going to move you just you know for mountains uh, to the piloting area. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, our boy Prune is there hanging in the back. Yeah, you guys, uh, guns are going fucking wild. The 20 millimeters on the ship are just ripping up the uh, the landing bay as Prune is firing out of the back of the open uh, 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 airlock with his Gatling laser. You guys hear... <laughs> We forgot to cover the terms of my contract. <laughs> you guys hear a very familiar sound, and you hear this. Not only that, Gears and uh, Liv would all uh, pick this up uh, with navigation tools. It's a very, like, as you see an absolutely goddamn massive interstellar systems collective battleship leaving hyperspace and arriving directly above you in orbit of this research area this ship is a massive destroyer class this isn't GAC and this is not the Suns Collective this is a interstellar system this is local to the interstellar systems um, right. uh, this is a ship. Uh, actually, everyone, give me whoever cares. Give me a smarts check. It doesn't matter who. Five. That's a success. Uh, it is Three. a des destroyer class ship. Um, this ship only really travels in wartime. Um, can I? Yes. Go ahead. Can I ask a question about gears? as a robot yep. um, would I be able to like that that recording that the, the head scientist could I have recorded that I have it he has it yeah I have her prism yep. okay yeah he has it uh, if you ask for it you can have it you can have it I just I, I okay. knew her and I kind of kept it as like a, a memento type thing um, but yeah no if you if you ask for it at any point you would 100% have Okay, it. then Gears is going to And I mean, you remembered the whole recording, so you definitely remembered Peru putting it Yeah, in but I pocket. want the actual recording. Gears is going to call out over the PA yeah. for for that that prism device oh. then. I I'm just shutting the door. I'll be right there. <laughs> you shut the door. Um, this ship, just to give perspective, um, 
Its massive size hovers in the upper atmosphere of Dithil Core. Dithil Core is the mining planet you're currently on. Um, this ship could fit the Lizard Wizard six times over just in the hangar alone. Uh, and a incoming message hails the Lizzie. This is Captain Osric Medigan of the Herald of Storms, flagship of the Interstellar Systems Collective. You are in violation of a planet-wide quarantine. Make no attempt to leave. You will be subject to a forced quarantine and moved on board under surveillance by our crew. You will be then tried under the laws of the ISC for breaching protocol. Any attempt to flee will be declared an act of combat and you will suffer the full force of the battleship. Send your ship flag identity with your vocal reply of our terms. And the uh, the ship just kind of is hovering in orbit. Okay. Punch it, Gears. Uh, <laughs> Gears, Gears is going to... Um, open up the comms channel and say come in herald of storms this is lizard wizard 69 (laughs) (laughs) correction come in herald of storms this is lizard wizard 69 we hear and obey however in light of information that we have obtained, and at this point, Gears is going to play the full um, lead research or like her thing oh, okay. over the thing, and yeah, identify I, I, I'm already who she in the room. was. I had given it to, yeah, I'd given it to her at that point. Cool. I saw you run up, so uh, Gears is going to play that over the intercom and then say, uh, "We understand your demands of quarantine, however." We, our capitulation is based on you firing upon this planet. If we do not see you firing upon this planet with lethal force, we ourselves will engage with all necessary weapons. Oh, epic. Give me a intimidation, but I will say with the information log, I like it. Um... Yeah, plus two intimidation um, roll. Okay, so here's an important question. <laughs> Who am I intimidating? Um, am I intimidating a, an organic life form? Because I'm not good at doing that <laughs> by the rules. Um, You're intimidating um, the ship. Says, <laughs> Organic species often treat constructs as property rather than sentient beings. They have no rights in many systems and suffer minus two charisma when dealing with beings who know their artificial nature oh. and aren't constructs themselves. So my uh, my intimidation rolls on organic life forms are at a minus two if they know that I'm a construct. Interesting. Interesting. Apparently. And you certainly sound like a construct. Uh, <laughs> can I can I attempt to use my uh, last two um, PowerPoints uh, to uh, kind of push uh, a shield kind of over the, the e- even if it's not an effective shield, just kind of like the illusion of it? Uh, the ship um, does have energy shields in general. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, just, uh, yeah, FYI. Um, at some point, I think I sent you guys on Slack or something, the, the, the finer details, but we can get into that later. It's not a big deal. Um, you uh, send before, this... um, yep. before, before you make your decision here, uh, knowing that, um, uh, Kanan would like to come in on, on the comms and say, uh, this is Kanan Silverhorn of the Solus Estiva, representative of the Adastonians. Uh, be advised the the nature of this message is is legitimate oh um i will take that as a support role so that'll be another plus one on top of whatever gears is uh, going to roll the cops are 
person. <laughs> <laughs> Gears is completely. Gears is Maroon, Maroon could jump on too, but I don't think they're going to. They're, they're hey, this, gonna is Maroon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Maroon. This is Maroon. I got a sandwich. Hello. Hello, little man in big, big ship. This is Maroon. Big man in little ship. I am big man in little ship. <laughs> listen oh to Android and listen to Karen. Ken Kamen. Fucking amazing. Uh, uh, all right. I will say all things considered, uh, Gears, whatever that minus, uh, sorry, what was that minus for the, the, the skill? Two. It's a minus two. A minus two. So it, like, if, if, what you said was right, then it would just be a straight roll. Yes. Yep. So a straight roll okay. for intimidation to Captain Osric Medigan. Okay, I think Fuck this is going to go badly because apparently I don't have intimidation on here. <laughs> um, oh, <fuck>. D4, <laughs> D4 so minus a, two. <laughs> yeah, at least it's not a minus four, which is what it could potentially have been. So I just want to clarify specifically because I don't know how well I said it, that what Gears was trying to get through was that like okay cool you're saying all this legal shit but like if you don't fire upon this planet we're gonna fire upon this planet yep yep and oh boy it's not a critical fail <laughs> but it is as close as it could have been so uh i guess it's a zero uh perfect it's not a critical fail but it is a zero amazing yeah you guys, uh, uh, I mean, let's backtrack a little bit. You guys did successfully manage to plot a, a, an amazing astrogation check, and you succeeded in a piloting check. You sent the message, and it was received. Are you guys going to attempt to jump somewhere, or are you going to stick around? I'm literally going to say on the, on the cobs again, Gears, punch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gears, Gears is easily persuaded. <laughs> uh, you guys, as you guys uh, are about to go into hyper, uh, uh, hyperspace, um, you see the giant interstellar systems battleship uh, far above you in the atmosphere, but you guys are rocketing out of the atmosphere of Dithil Core. And you see, uh, out of the back, you just see bursts of light out of the back of the battleship. Who knows what that could be? And we will pick that up next time on The Lost Frontier. Thank you all for tuning in to the No Fame podcast. What a time. Holy shit. What a fucking hilarious episode, everyone. Jesus Christ. Sick. That yeah. would be just it's damn good. Uh, everyone, thank you for watching. Catch us on patreon.com slash nofamepod if you want to support the show. That's the best way to do it. Uh, the second best way to do it. Uh, you know what? No. The first best way to do it. I'm re redacting that. Tell your friends. Tell your dog. Redact it. Tell your cats. Tell everyone. Uh, tell your pets. Tell your goldfish. Why not? Go wild. Uh, if you like what you see, you know, tell some people. A lot of time uh if not check us out on patreon.com slash no fame pod we are on instagram we're on twitter we're on social medias at no fame pod ah, hashtag no fame pod uh thank you to my lovely friends for this goddamn ridiculous game thank you all for watching and as we say every time here on the no fame podcast good packages come in Small packages. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>
just me, the DM, fucked up, fucked up hard. <laughs> Let me undo that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm fucking around with settings at the same time that I'm having this conversation, <laughs> multitasking, technology and creativity all at once. I uh, just making Isaac more believable. <laughs> <laughs>